So I wanted to talk briefly about learning. It's uh, related to things I didn't think about um, for work as well. But there was a quote that I'd heard from someone at a conference last year that uh, learning is error correction for the mind. So it is necessarily unpleasant. So there's always a little bit of an unpleasant tinge to, to learning. Um, it implies that we're not quite correct at present. So it's a little bit unpleasant, but you can develop, you can acquire a taste for it. So a little bit like eating chili peppers, where, you know, you like a little bit of that pain, that bite. Um, there's a little bit of an unpleasantness, but you can get to the point where you enjoy it so much that you want to put, you know, chili pepper on uh, any meal that you have. So um, I'm just digging in a little bit, like, why is that painful for us? Well, first of all, there's a lot of Pride. Now, not just gross pride, I mean subtle pride, like some um, subtle sense that we should know what's going on and some expectation, so uh, expectation of ourselves. So, for example, I want to come across to you as being knowledgeable, but um, there's infinite areas that I don't know. So there's a reluctance in my mind to acknowledge all of the unknowing. So for as long as there's a reluctance to acknowledge the unknowing, it's actually closing the door to learning. It's making it harder for us to learn. Um, so learning really does require um, uh, not only an acknowledgement about how much we don't know at present, but also a genuine willingness to, um, to change, to change our approach, to change our actions, um, to be surprised. And again, it is painful partly because it is threatening to the self. So it's a little bit stressful. Anything that is threatening to the self is potentially stressful. It's one of the uh, main causes of stress, um, some um, sense of threat to the self or some sense of rejection from the group. So if we're seen as not knowing something, that exacerbates or that, that brings with it the fear that we might be rejected and that exacerbates the stress and the pain of learning. So. The more we can reduce this um, preoccupation with ourself, with ourself, this um, obsessive concern for what other people think of us, our expectation that we should be uh, knowledgeable, and then just instead be open-minded to appreciating whatever knowledge we do have, um, and uh, being willing to share that knowledge as well, and then being very, very open and appreciative to the knowledge that others have. And so that's the last aspect that I think is really important about learning, is it implies that other people know something you don't. <laughs> and um, that, that means that they are better than you are, at least in that bit, in that knowledge. And that's just, we don't like hearing that, that somebody else is better than us. But of course, if nobody's better than us. That's incredibly fragile, incredibly incredibly precarious situation, right? Because you're always trying to defend that I'm number one status. But in fact, if we think others are incredibly knowledgeable and um, it, it, it implies a deep respect for them also implies an open-mindedness to learning from them. And so all of these kinds of ways are, are ways in which our, our ego, by which I just mean our normal sense of who we are, is an obstacle to our learning. So again, open-mindedness, learn, develop a taste for learning, uh, acquired taste, even though it's a little bit uncomfortable sometimes, goes against our sense of self-importance, but um, one of the most beautiful things that can come out of um, humbling ourselves is this increased wisdom learning.